My name is Jason Lurch. I'm a scientist at the Hospital for Sick Children in the program in Neurosciences and Mental Health. So we study brain development, especially with brain imaging techniques in both mice and humans. And we try to understand how the brain develops and what can possibly go wrong in neurodevelopmental disorders and figure out how treatments change. So we have a lot of these disorders where there's a wide variety of heritable causes for it or spontaneous mutations, so mutations that occur without the parents having had the same genetic mutation. And then we want to understand what does the gene actually do. And it's very hard to study in one individual alone because every individual is unique. But if we can create a mouse model or a fly model or a worm model of it, we can really understand what are the molecular mechanisms behind what the gene does, what it does. Most of the research has been in male mice only, and usually for ease of convenience or without much thought going into it, with the assumption that males and females will always behave the same. And they usually do, but not always. And one of the things that's really striking, especially in this childhood mental health disorders, is they tend to have very strong sex biases. So autism is four times as likely in boys as in girls. Depression is three times as likely in girls as in boys. And almost all of them have some kind of a skewed ratio like that. So in trying to understand these disorders, we really have to understand why are there these skewed ratios? Why are boys more likely to get autism than girls? Why are eating disorders more likely in girls than in boys? So we have to understand how sex affects the brain and how sex and the brain affect each other in order to change the outcomes of these disorders. So the autism research is specifically focusing on understanding how many autisms are there. It's a very heterogeneous disorder, and if we look at the genetic causes or environmental causes, it's rare for any two kids with autism to have the exact same mutation, the exact same potential cause. So it's really trying to get at what does all this variability come from, how does it converge onto the same symptoms at the end of the day.